If you're lately constantly trembling for no reason, suffer from rigidity or postural instability, pay attention because you might be starting to suffer from Parkinson's disease and you're not even noticing it. In this video, I want to talk about the causes, risk factors, and natural treatments for Parkinson's disease for you to treat before it's too late. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to receive notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need an online appointment with quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and I encourage you to stay till the end of this video where I'm going to reveal extra tips and video links related to this topic. If you're starting to suffer from trembling, you know, shaking, which are the most noticeable symptoms in Parkinson's disease, you might have this condition. As we get older, it's not uncommon for us to start suffering from a variety of conditions that take away of quality of life and Parkinson's is always something that needs to be considered and treated before it's too late. So in today's video, I want to talk about the causes, risk factors, and natural treatments for Parkinson's disease for you to treat before it's too late. Let's go ahead and start off with the basics. Part one. Number one, symptoms. As we get older, there are certain characteristics that come with age. For example, forgetfulness, low physical activity, having difficulty maintaining a healthy body weight. But there are certain symptoms that should really clue you in on diseases like Parkinson's. So for example, if you're trembling too much, okay, if you're shaking, this is one of many changes in motor functions and usually affects, affects the jaws, legs, and arms, and the face in Parkinson's disease. Movements can become awkward, you know, broken, and almost like the patient is walking with a series of quick, small steps. Another very important symptom to recognize is rigidity that you might notice, you know, with stiffness on the body's trunk as well as the arms and the legs. Postural instability is also another symptom where the person might be losing strength and balance along with problems in moving or coordinating movements, which are very common in Parkinson's disease. And the last hallmark for Parkinson's is sometimes called bradykinesia, which is a fancy word in medical use to say that the patient is having slowness in movements, causing him or her to be unable to control or speed up movements in some, and in some cases may even freeze up when they're moving, which is very uncomfortable. And if we think about it for a minute, this can be really terrible for any one of us that is suffering from this condition. And other more general symptoms include mood changes, you know, depression, uh, trouble sleeping, fatigue, erectile dysfunctions, voice changes also, all of these. So please, 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 if you know anyone who's suffering from any of these symptoms, it's always best to warn them ahead of time before falling into this condition. So give yourself a minute to share this video with someone you think might find use in it. Number two, risk factors. As we get older, it's extremely important to consider any risk factor that can cause Parkinson's disease. So let's go over a couple of these to give you a heads up in anything that can be precipitating this condition. So what are some risk factors? For example, being a man and older in age, men experience Parkinson's more often than women and also tend to develop symptoms a bit earlier. Family is another one. This is a big one. Having a family history or genetic mutation linked to Parkinson's is a very important factor and many times can't really be resolved with diet or lifestyle changes, but in any case can be reduced. High exposure to pesticide chemicals are now considered one of the most important risk factors of Parkinson's disease. In fact, one of the most recent studies shows the link between pesticides and insecticides as a cause of Parkinson's disease, and this includes two of the most important and most mostly used in widespread use around the world. So you see how important it is when I say you have to eat organic foods. People live in, for example, in rural areas where farming is more common are at higher risk of Parkinson's disease. And those who drink, for example, water from wells also have a higher chance of having this condition. And this is due basically because of chemical contaminations of groundwater. Another one is poor diet. It's to no surprise that people who have poor diets and lifestyles are more likely to suffer from diseases. And Parkinson's is no different. 
hormonal imbalances. Other studies are also pointing to suggest that hormonal imbalances and some medications can also be a risk factor for Parkinson's disease. So what I suggest you do is take real good care of your sleep and make sure that you get a good quality rest every night to help protect those nervous and brain functions. Now the most interesting part of this video, part two, natural treatments. Number one, supplements. If you have Parkinson's, I suggest you consider this treatment as a whole and not just the supplements because supplements as well as the rest of this treatment only is a part of the greater picture. So some of the supplements that can really aid you in Parkinson's disease or treatment are for example vitamin C, vitamin E, and vitamin D. Coenzyme Q10 is another one which is very important by the way. Omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidant supplements like acerola, berries, and fiber. Okay, fiber supplements that can aid you in bowel movements and the elimination of wastes and toxins from the bowels. Number two, reduce toxicity and chemical exposure. As I mentioned before, environmental factors like pesticides and chemicals are starting to be linked to Parkinson's development. Research is now showing that rural living, you know, exposure to well water or agriculture pesticides and herbicides are related to Parkinson's disease. So what you can do if you have this problem, well for one, start consuming organic foods completely free of pesticides. Another very important thing you can do is try doing a chelation therapy that can also be very helpful in lowering metal heavy toxicity and accumulation. Number three, eat a healthy diet. Many of us, he reported that a healthy diet can help reduce symptoms and really help ameliorate the quality of life in these patients. So some tips to manage Parkinson's symptoms with a healthy diet include, for example, eating more raw foods, especially organic vegetables and fruits, eat more fiber, okay, decrease the intakes of sugar, trans fats, and refined fats, avoid pesticides, avoid processed foods, synthetic ingredients, consume omega-3 fatty acids like fish, nuts, you know, all these will help and are really golden tips when it comes to Parkinson's, especially in diseases where it's believed to come from toxicity and pesticides in the environment. Number four, good quality sleep. One of the most important antioxidant hormones in the body is called melatonin. This hormone is produced by a small gland in the middle of our brains called the pineal gland and is extremely important in nerve regeneration. I cannot stress enough how important it is to get enough sleep quality every night and if it's not possible, then I suggest you take melatonin or so lingual melatonin before going to bed every night. You have no idea how much good this is gonna be for your health. I use melatonin as part of a treatment in patients who have myasthenia gravis, a muscular condition that, you know, symptoms are very similar to Parkinson's. Number five, exercise and stress reduction. Getting regular exercise and lowering stress levels prevents the brain from cell deterioration. And I know, it can be very hard for a patient with Parkinson's to exercise daily, but staying active is very important for these patients and also helps control the symptoms like depression, rigidity, and stiffness. Help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease, visit drlandivar.com. And right over here, I suggest you check out these other videos related to this topic. You're gonna to find valuable information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.